Hi, and welcome to our craft along program. We're going to be making a tote bag, but we're going to be using splatter paint tote bag. And um, I have some acrylic paints here up front, a little bit of water, your paint brushes, um, some stencils, uh, stickers, and sequins. And what else do I have here? Oh, I also have pom-poms just to kind of get me creative. So let's get started. I'm going to start with our Palm Springs Public Library tote bag. You see the brand there. Nice little yellow. And fold these over. All right. So I've already kind of pre-mixed some of my colors already. I have a red here. I also have a light purple and a darker purple. Get some water here. All right. And since you're doing this at home, you use whatever you can to mix your paints with. And as you notice here, I have a little tin here. And I just take a little bit of my acrylic paint. And I think I will get some green here. Just a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. Put it in my tin here. Just a little bit. I just have like a little swirl. Let's see if you can see that. Just a little swirl of the green. And then I have a little bit of water here. Now just a little bit goes a long ways. You see here, I just put a few drops in there. I don't know if you can see that. Just a few drops of water and then just kind of swish it around a bit. Okay, and since I'm mixing colors, I have different brushes here for each color. I just like doing that that way to, later on if I want to, I can mix colors, but just to get started, since I'm going to be splattering this paint all over, I'm going to use different brushes. All right, so I have my first color here, and it's just like what it says, just like I did there, splattered paint and you just go around and flick your paintbrush. Now you can also do, and you can use different paintbrushes, which I have here. You can also flick like so, and you get a nice little pattern of paint on there. Now you have to do that a little bit more than once sometimes, but the more you do it, the funner it can be. Now, since I just have a paper tablecloth, I'm just going to go ahead and wipe my fingers on here <laughs> so I can do another color without mixing the colors. So I'm going to show you how that went. Let's see here. I got that nice little blue there. All right, so, got, so I've started my flicking. <laughs> so now I can choose another color. All right, I'm going to try the red here. And the brushes that I have here, they're just those little cheapy brushes you can get at the 99 cent store. And just like I did before, I just flick, 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 flick. Now I'm using different colors. You don't have to use different colors. If you just want to focus on one color, that's fine too. You can also jam that paintbrush in there somewhere, here and there. Now this is a really light purple. So it doesn't really show up very well here on this yellow because it's so, so light, but that's okay. Okay. Now I have another tin and I'm gonna choose another color. Let's see here. Let's try a little bit of black. Okay, let's do that. Just a little bit here and there. Now I'm using the tube acrylic paint. In your kit, it will be completely different. You just a little bit of black I'm getting, going to put in that tin, a little bit of water. I don't want to put too much water, just a little bit. Okay. 
Oh, I just put a little bit of water just to get it moist there. Okay, I'm gonna get my other little brush here. And I just wanna just, just to see how that, you mix the water in there. And I just wanna see how that's gonna look. So I'm gonna flick it here and there. Oh, need more water. That's the part of the flicking. If it doesn't flick, you need more water. There we go. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah, I like the black. It really pops here with the yellow background of the tote bag. Pretend you're a fairy godmother. Bing, then grant you wish. Woo! <laughs> Oh, I really like that black. Bling! The thing is though also, when you are flicking your paintbrush, you see how I have paper here on the top of the table? I also have paper down below me, and I've kind of picked a room that um, has tile on the floor so it can be easy to clean. Um, you want to pick a space that um, if you do decide to flick, um, you can immediately clean up, <laughs> okay? Because this is acrylic paint, all right? Just an FYI, make sure you have space. is a space that you can clean right away. If, for example, I get it on some type of furniture, I'm also sitting on a wooden chair, not a cloth chair, a wooden chair. Because if I get anything on this chair by mistake, then I can easily wipe it up. Okay, so set up your station so there's easy cleanup. I have a paper tablecloth and all I need to do is just throw it away. Okay, so I've got my black here. I really like it. Wow, that really came out nice. I like that. Okay, let's do another color. Um, I have a darker purple that I mixed up a little bit. Let's try that as well. And I think I'm going to try a different brush for this one, I think. Let's see what happens when I use a fatter brush like this one here. See the tips here. So let me take that out. And when you do your tote bag, um, just think of things that you enjoy that are your favorites and how you can put them down on your canvas tote bag. So I've Ooh, that large, that large brush really soaked up all the paint in this tin. So I may need to put some more. So I'm just gonna flick this with my finger and see what happens. <gasps> wow. So the harder you flick this larger brush, the more paint comes off. And with your paintbrush, the different sizes you use and the different types of paintbrushes, like for example, this is a sponge one here, you will make different designs. And you can really jam it down, make a big blotch like that, flick it, or do little taps here and there. Okay. And as I stated, it does take up a lot of your paint. So you might wanna save that one for last, or unless you like the big splotches of paint on your canvas tote bag. All right, I've got some, I've got green, I've got black, I've got red, I've got purple, two types. Let's try an orange. I had mixed that previously as well but I need a little bit more. I think I'm gonna need a little bit more orange here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some more orange in here, this tin that I have. And these actually are just Altoid tins. I had a donation of them and I found a way to use them. Didn't have that many, so for a program, but I can use it for, for this. All right. I'm going to grab a new paintbrush. 
really do like these little cheapy ones. They're, they're very easy to flick. And because they're a plastic brush, they don't absorb um, a lot of the paint like the uh, other brushes that I used here, the ones that are kind of got the faux or some type of uh, real hair on there. <clears throat> it's more absorbent than these little plastic uh, 99 cent store ones. <laughs> Now I didn't put that much water in there. Let's just see what, there we go. Let's try to mix that water in there. Now remember, after you're done with this part here with the flicking, if you wanna make a different color, you know that mixing colors is fun. So just make sure you're done with what you initially wanted to use the colors for and then mix some colors up and see what happens. So again, I'm gonna just flick this and use my pinky this time. And you know what? I got a lot of paint there. I wonder what happens if I use my fingertips. Ooh. That's another way to use all that paint that you, you have. Different way. All right. And let's get some more down here. Just a little bit more, just a little bit here, because I want to put something here that I hope you will recognize. And I'm going to put a little bit more blue. Where's my blue? Oh, I think I have to mix some blue. Because I used that to mix the red, and I had red, and I had orange, you know, red and blue. And when I mixed them, they made that darker purple color that I used earlier, this one here. So I'm gonna use some blue, put these back. And while you're doing this, it's a good idea if you do have materials that you're using, like this little <clears throat> tubes of paints that I have here. Remember to try and put them back. That means less cleanup at the end. So, I need some blue. Remember, a little bit goes a long way, okay? And a little bit of water, just a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to use another clean toothbrush. I mean, paintbrush, toothbrush. I suppose you could use toothbrushes too. If you're in a pinch, you don't have a, you don't have a paintbrush. Well, use a toothbrush, an old one, of course. Different things, different objects you can use as a brush. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and. I like this blue. Let's flick, 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 flick. Okay. So why are you concentrating here on the bottom on that with that blue? Well, I also have some stencils here. And since we're looking and, and talking about Palm Springs Public Library, if you've been a visitor here, you know that we have a koi fish pond. And so one of my memories of the Palm Springs Public Library is the fish pond. So I have these little fish here and I'll put them on my hands here. Oops. Um, <laughs> little teeny tiny fish from our Ellison die cut machine. See how tiny they are? They kind of remind me of the little baby koi fish. Remember? And there's still a, quite a, well, not as many as there were before, but there, there are nice little fish still alive there in our koi fish pond. So I thought, that's one of my memories. Let's make some fish. Let's put some fish on here. So what I do 
is I put my stencil in with the paint and I just kind of let it lather on there. I just push it around. Now, if you want to wear gloves, wear gloves. But I decided not to wear gloves. And see how it's all full of the uh, paint? So I put my stencil down and just press it down somewhere. Okay. Okay. And then I take some more of that paint. Now the koi fish here, what color are they? Do you remember? They are orange, right? And then a little bit of black here and there and some white. So I'm just going to take this and just go over the edge of my stencil, trying to at least get the shape somehow, an outline of the shape of the fish. Oh, that's a jumping fish. You see how that jumped out of my hand? It says, no, I don't want to go in the tote bag. You can use the other side of your paintbrush to just move it along, move it around. Put some more on this side here. If you use your paintbrush to put more on if you need to. Okay. Put that one down. Not, not all the paint will stay. You know, just kind of press it down and it, it just depends. So it's just trial and error. Not all of the paint will stick to the fabric. It just depends on how thick you put it, the paint on the other side. I didn't put it very thick. And of course I did dilute it with water. If you don't want to dilute it with water, that's fine too. It's your tote bag, your creation. You do what you would like to do. Try your own thing. And you can cut out your own stencils out of, you know, you have your own ideas, got a pair of scissors, you can cut out your own stencils. Okay. All right, I'm gonna put that down. Let's do, I'm gonna do one more. Cause you know the, uh, you know that the fish here they go round and round in circles. Remember, they go round and round and round in circles. So let's see if we do the same thing here. Just a small little circle. I think I'm gonna need some more orange. Always remember to put the cap back on. Or with in your in your case, you have little pods, paint pods. Always put the lid back down if you're not using the paint because it does dry out quickly because you're working with acrylic paints. There's also fabric paint available at the shops, you know, at the stores. You can use that too. You know what it also you can use? With your mother's permission, of course, or big sister, nail polish. It's the same thing, just about. But remember to ask for permission. If there's a nail polish they're not using anymore, or don't like anymore, you can use that too. So here I have my fish going round and round, asking to be fed. <laughs> they're fed. But believe me, they're fed. <laughs> they just like all the attention they get. 
And remember the babies are, they don't, they're no longer hiding underneath the rocks anymore. They're out and about with the big fish now. They're out with the big boys. <laughs> okay, so I really lathered this one this time with hardly any of the watered down acrylic paint. Put that down. And just press, 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 press. And then go over it if you want with some more paint on the outside. Or if you choose to, you can leave these stencils on. But if you choose to do that, remember that they will come out in the wash when you do wash these, if and when you do wash them. And if you do wash this, because you're using acrylic paint, wash it separately a few times and put it in the dryer or let it just let it dry naturally that probably would be best but if you put it in the dryer you know what i would suggest no don't put it in the dryer because the heat will just melt the acrylic and you, you might get it all over inside the inside of the dryer so you know what just let it air dry natural okay so i'm going to let that let that stay for a little bit before i peel them off another thing that reminds me of palm spring is the night sky a lot of times i leave here and it's already night time so I have here some foam stickers. Now they are they are, they have um, other stickers that are made for fabric, uh, but I decided, well, you know, let's use these. I have some of these, so let's use these because the night sky is very beautiful. And if you were able to view the night sky around the Christmas time, it was really, really beautiful because you got to see two planets that you don't normally get to see. Do you remember what planets those were? Do you remember? Did you get a chance to see that what looked like a big, big, big star, Christmas star, but it was actually two planets. Do you remember? Did you even look up in the night sky <laughs> during the Christmas season? <laughs> you might have because you might have wanted to try and spy Santa, right? The two planets were Saturn and Jupiter, remember? Saturn and Jupiter. Oh, it was a beautiful view. So I decided to use some stars here to place on my bag because I love driving home and looking at the stars. I'm just going to put them up right in here. A few stars here and there. And since I peeled the stickers off, I have a little trash can nearby to help me clean up while I'm working. Okay. Alrighty. Now, another reminder that I have of Palm Springs are butterflies. That's one of the things I get to see when I'm coming in to Palm Springs or some, are sometimes the monarch butterflies. And I think I'll put it right in there. It looks good. And this time I'm going to use some glitter, some glitter glue. It's actually glitter paint glue kind of thing combination and I thought I'd use some gold but you know it didn't pop out that well so I wonder if I should use something different well we'll give it a go let's see how it works and just shake it up a little bit and squeeze now the harder you squeeze of course the more comes out so if it came out too much you can just move it along So 
make a little outline of my butterfly with glitter paint. I think that got it all the way around. Okay. Yep. I'm just gonna let that stay for a little bit. You can see where I missed some spots. Now, the um, glitter paint pens that I have, or just the regular paint pens, they do have this little stopper. They're very tiny, so make sure you put them somewhere that you can remember where you put it. And when you're done, put the stopper back in so it doesn't leak or dry up. You put the cap back in, on, and then the other cap. So now this is ready to be reused because it won't dry out. Put that there. All right. So I have my stars. I have my butterfly. I have my little koi fish pond. I know what I'm missing. You know what else I'm missing? The flowers. There are so many beautiful flowers in this valley. And the one that I see the most is actually a bush. <laughs> the bougainvillea bush. And so I just thought, oh, yeah, I'll put some flowers on here. And here you can see that I have some die cuts of flowers. This is a flower here. And then this is the center of the flower. So I figured I could probably use both. All right, so I'm gonna take my little flower, put it over here on the side. Let's see how I want this one. Should I do this? Or the opposite direction, maybe something like that. Yeah, I think I, think I like it better this way. I'll put that one here. Not sure if I need another one up on top there. Okay, I guess I will keep it there. Right in here somewhere. So anyway, so I'm going to use for this one, um, I think I will use some more glitter pens or paint pens. One of the bougainvillea bushes that I like a lot has this fuchsia color. And this is one of those paint pens. And as I reminded you before, they have the little stoppers. So if you take it out, which I'm gonna do now, put it somewhere so you'll remember to put it back. And so I'm just gonna outline this again. But this time, this one has no glitter in it. Just simple fuchsia colored paint. Again, the more pressure you put on the tube, the more will come out paint or glitter paint.
And don't forget the center. And if I pull it out, look how pretty that is. I have the outline of my flower. And I'm going to, I'm not going to use this fuchsia anymore paint, so I'm just going to go ahead and clean up and put the stopper back in. Do the original cap. And then the colored cap. But look how pretty my flower stencil came out. Very nice. Now, let's see. I want to use another. Oh, I have some sequins here. You see here, I have some little sequins here. I think I'm going to put some inside the. Uh, let's take this off the caterpillar as part of his body. Wow, look at that, huh? So if you want to reuse those stencils, or any stencils you have, put them um, face up, like, a, you know, where the, some of the glue and glitter glue is on. That way you can reuse it again. Or if, you want, if you want to, you could also wipe it down first as well. And let me see here. I think I will use different tube of paint I have down here. Let's see, what should I use? What should I use? Color for the middle. I wonder if I used. Try some green. I don't know. I don't know. Where to try green. But let's try some green. And this is a new tube. Oh, let's also take off these little fishies. And I have a little bit of an outline of my fish. Oh yeah, that one came out really nice. The one that I lathered without water came out really, really well. Oh, one thing I wanted to do really quickly before I forgot was to use some white to make some bubbles. All fish make bubbles. And remember how I told you you can use about anything as a like a brush kind of thing? Another thing that I like to do is to use the opposite end of your brush. This end right here is a tip. So I'm going to dip it in the white paint that I just put in the tin and I'm going to put some bubbles, bubbles on these fish. <laughs> and since I still have some white here, I'll just push the end all around whatever I want to and clean it up. Make sure I use all the paint. Oops. Okay.
Okay. All right, so that's that. My fish have bubbles coming out, and I wanted to use a little bit of this black here. Again, I'm going to try the opposite end because I want to little, do a little bit of black here and there on my fish because you know that our koi fish have a little bit of black here and there. <laughs> Maybe a little eyes there. teeny tiny drop for the eye. Alrighty. Okay. Put a little bit more black in here. Let's put some sequins on this butterfly right in the body. I also have some pom-poms, but I think they might be just a little bit too big. And the sequins are a really nice way to decorate your bag. You can use glue dots. Uh, fabric glue um, or even the same paint that you're using but make sure you put it on there while it's still wet so let's see just trying to think of the body what I want to use I don't know if I want to use red I keep looking at this orange but let's use some more of this glitter paint for the body. And so I'm gonna just put a couple of dots here, in the center of the body here. And then I push the sequins in. Right there in the center. Just push it in really good and see. So you see glitter come out of the center. Now my hands are getting sticky, so everything's starting to stick to my hands. Okay, so we have our little body there for the butterfly. I have my flowers. Let's see. I have my small flowers I still need to add, and I'm gonna add a few more stars. So I'm kinda, I think I'm done with flicking the paint now, here and there. I think that's good, what I've got so far. I think I'm done with the gold as well. All right, let's choose a green flower and a red flower. So I have a red pen, a red paint pen, and a green paint pen. These are glitter fabric pens. Let's see what else. 
Yeah, I think that's pretty much the stars, the flowers, the fish, the butterfly. Oh, and there's one more thing. I have one more thing to add. Let's see if I can get this off. Stopper. I'm going to leave that down for a little bit. green quickly. Trying to find a teeny tiny star. Oh my god. Oh, we can do some sequence too. Oh, I had better luck on this end. There we go. Now you can make your own little die cuts out of the uh, cereal boxes, the cardboard from the cereal boxes. Those make great die cuts. And you can throw them away after you're done. Easy cleanup. Well, that one came up right away. So I have my little a little shape here. Let's pick this one up now too. All right. Got my little shape here flowers. Finish those up. I wonder. I'm just going to put some a little bit of red right here in the center. <laughs> I squished it a lot. <laughs> Big lop. Let's use a big clump of the gold here in the center of this one. Oh, nice, nice. Now let's put some more. I 
I think I need some more red on the edge. wasn't quite done with this red, was I? Okay. Now this is just one side of your tote bag. There is another side. So you can do something different on that side as well. But for our purposes today, we're going to focus on the front side. Oh, and I have one more thing that I wanted to put here. And I have a glue dot here I'm going to use. <clears throat> These are nice, the glue dots. If you need to do a project that requires for something to take quickly with you somewhere, these are handy. But I have to tell you, they are extremely sticky. And if you're not a patient person, I would not suggest these. But for our purposes, I just need a little bit because a little bit goes a long ways. And I wanted to use, this is the letter I. And, and there's a heart. And then it says Palm Springs Public Library. I love Palm Springs Public Library. That's what I wanted to say. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this glue dot and pull it off and attach it. Hopefully it will stay for this a little bit for our purposes today. Press that down. And with my little heart, We'll use a little bit of red. I have this little red here. And again, I'm going to just lather the bottom as much as I can with the red paint. That has the watered down version, but I'm going to also use a little bit of the just simple red. And I'm just going to lather it on there. Okay. You know we have birds in the library too? <laughs> Can you hear that? <laughs> Everyone knows us the story room birds. I wanted to add one more star. Where's my little heart? Let's add some more red here in the center. And I think that we are done.
And once this dries, you could add some more flicks of paint if you'd like. I was just thinking maybe add some white, but I think for our purposes, we are done for the day. So again, these are the memories of my Palm Springs Public Library, the koi fish pond, the beautiful flowers I see around town, especially the bougainvillea, and the night sky when I leave here from Palm Springs Public Library, it's so beautiful. And then of course, the butterflies that I see every once in a while when I come into Palm Springs. Now this craft along will be available to you for the month of January. Let me show you very quickly what you're going to be receiving. And yours is completely different from mine. It's just a nice canvas tote bag. Remember, you have two sides to decorate and don't forget the straps. You can do something with the straps as well. And inside, have your own set of paint pods. Look at that. Nice colors. Many to choose from. And don't forget, you can mix colors to make different colors. And then also inside are some letter stickers with fabric glue on the opposite side so that they will stick. Isn't that nice? So check our event calendar. Palm Springs Public Library event calendar for the month of January to see when these kits will be available for you to pick up. I thank you for joining me. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.